to pay for a young rapper's music video. You had your music playing. You got me <laughs> in my groove. You got me wanting to dance. I'm hearing the bars. I'm hearing the beats. <laughs> Who's your favorite artist? Like, who, who you like listening to? So, kid-wise, mm -hmm. I love Lele. I've even met her before. Okay. I, I performed at one of her shows before. Um, you I love already so you already performing? Mm-hmm. Oh. You on the stage already? Yep. So you got to call me to be your hype man. You know what the hype man is, right? Yes. Okay, that's when I'm, I'm going to be doing your stuff. While you're doing your stuff, I'm going to be right there with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be right there next to you doing my thing with you, all right? Okay. But you sound good. So look, I'm going to tell you a little story, right? Mm -hmm. So being that you're eight years old and you do music and you love music, right? Mm -hmm. You know how old I was when I first started? Yeah. I was five years old when I first started. A we close? Yeah. I was three. Uh, see what I'm saying? You was three. Oh, see, you you already a GOAT. You already like a legend, a young legend, you know? And the advantages that we have because we started so young, we get a chance to, to accomplish so much. So I want you to enjoy this time. I want you to have fun with your music and... Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the more that you, you study the, the craft of hip hop and you keep doing your thing and you stay in the studio doing your thing, you never know where you could be. You could be the next female superstar out here. You could be the next big female rapper of all time. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Thank you. You're welcome. You been shooting some videos, some music videos yet? Uh, I got one coming tomorrow. Oh, wait, I got hold, up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. You got a video dropping tomorrow? Shoot tomorrow. A shoot. You got a video shoot tomorrow? Yep. See, that's what I'm talking about. You, and you got your YouTube channel already? Yep. Go ahead and shout out your YouTube channel right now. Go ahead and shout it out so everybody in here knows to, where to find you. Where can they find the sauce? What's your YouTube page? <laughs> On Mac Sauce on YouTube, I got a lot of videos out. More coming soon. Uh, everything I got. Act up. What you doing? Just drop. Almost got ten thousand views. <laughs> Listen, we need, we need. Okay, so you got ten thousand views right now. How many views do we need? We need some more views on that video. Let's say we need a hundred thousand views on that video, right? So we want everybody who's in here right now, we want y'all to go support Max Sauce. We want y'all to go to her YouTube page and we want you to watch her videos, you know, put the fly comments in there because, you know, she's young, she's doing a thing and she's ready. Where, where you represent? Where you from, Max Sauce? Where you from? Kansas City. You from KC? <laughs> For real? <laughs> oh, man. So... My bodyguard, who, who passed away uh, a long time ago, uh, rest in peace, Big D, my bodyguard was from Kansas City, Missouri. So when every time I would be on tour and we would come to KC, he would always take me to, like, certain places in Kansas City. So I think, like, I think I'm from Kansas City. Like, I love Gates Barbecue. Have you had Gates Barbecue before? Oh, it's slamming, in. You like Gates Barbecue? Me too. And I had... Lamar's Donuts before. Oh, yep. Yep. See, I know I know a little something about Kansas City, Missouri. And then <laughs> I went to a mall out there. That, uh, I want to say, is it is it independent? Is, is, is that right? Yep. I'm right? Mm -hmm. So I'm yep. three for three. I'm three for three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm three for three. Your boy knows something about Kansas City. See, I told you, Max Sauce. You're the only one with the sauce in KC. I know a lot about Kansas City. But I'm just so proud of you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I talk about how proud I am of you and I give you some advice, right? Mm -hmm. How was school? Amazing. Amazing. See, that's what I'm talking about. Because, see, mm -hmm. without the schoolwork, you can't get to the real work, you know? And then school was just going to help you better your, your vocabulary when you're writing your rhymes and, and, and you, you're learning new words and you can put them together. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's all about. So learn as much as you can. So just as much as you 
got your head on the in your notepad writing them rhymes and and being in the studio put that same energy in that classroom because it's only gonna make you a better MC. It's gonna make you a better speaker when you do your interviews. It's just gonna prepare you and get you you, you already a star. But it's gonna make you into a bona fide superstar. We 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 trying to make Max Austin a superstar. Right? Thank you. Absolutely, and I want you to know that um, from me to you, because like I said, I started out young. So my advice to you would be to keep your loved ones very close, right? Is that your brother or is that your uncle? Is your brother? Or is that your Where's uncle in the back? Huh? My oh, daddy. Oh, 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 that's your dad. Oh, that's a, okay, dad. Dad, young. All right, what up, pop? <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you got your dad right there in your corner. You want to keep your loved ones close. That's what I did when I was young. My mom was my manager. My mom stayed with me everywhere I went, right? To keep all the bad people away from me, to keep the people who would have a bad influence on me away from me. And this business is a very, very tricky business, okay? So you want to make sure you keep dad close. You want dad to, dad, read these contracts and then let dad explain to you what's going on too, all right? So you keep it all in the family. You keep that money in the family. Where you gonna keep the money at? In the family. Where you gonna keep that money at? In the family. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So uh, listen to your dad, right? Do good mm -hmm. in school, pay attention, and love what you do. And the main, the main important thing about music, the best advice that I can give you is to have fun. Have fun. When it, when it doesn't feel fun anymore, you know, there was a point in time with, for me you know, I wanted to give up when I was like, you know what, I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. But sometimes we just learn that God blesses us and and he already has our story already written out for us. So mm -hmm. your story is already be written. So all you got to do is just go out there and just do your thing. You're already fearless. I can, I can tell you can get you already performing. You got a video shoot tomorrow. I mean, man, do you, need, do you, you don't need no advice from me. Do you need Lord. anything from me? <laughs> you you, do I need to come to Kansas City tomorrow? Do you need me to? Can I get a cameo on your video? Yes. All right. So, okay. Me, Max Sauce, Bow Weezy, Bow Wow, Max Sauce. I'm, all right. Kate, okay, cool. I got to look up some flights so I can, you know, piss you in my, my schedule so I can come show you some love. But I'm proud of you. And just so you know, there's probably so many other little girls that are watching us right now. And just by hearing you speak, you might have given them so much courage to do something in life that they want to do. So mm -hmm. use your blessing, which is your skill, your music, and take it all the way to the top. And you got your father right there behind you. He's guiding you. He's definitely not going to make sure, um, you know, anything falls through the cracks. He's going to watch your back, and he's going to guide you. And all you got to do is do your thing, and everything else is done for you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> you got any questions for me? You want to ask me anything? Um... First, before I get to all the questions, I have a couple of awards and a couple of things that I've won. Okay, and tell us. So, this one was for the Kansas City's People Choice Awards that I won for Best Kid Teen Entertainer. You see what I'm doing? <laughs> That's called raising the roof right there. All right, let me see. Let me see some more. So this one is for the KCPAO, um, I, the Stop the Violet Showcase. I won this one, too. Y'all see that? You out here doing your thing. Keep going. You got you, you got more awards? Uh, or are they on so the way? There's more coming. Um, more coming. This is my single sauce that I got made. Put it up closer. Let them see the cup. Let them see the cup. There you go. Lower it right there. Put it all the way in the camera so they can see it. Fill up your box so they can see it nice and big. There you go. Tell them to go get that single right now. Go get the single. There you go. Go get that single, man. Support Max Sauce. Go get that single. So you showed me your award. Let me show you something. Can I show you something? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me show you something. Hold on. I've never showed anybody this before, right? I do a lot of these lives. Because, you know, I do this so that I can, you know, talk to all the up-and-coming artists and, and, and prepare them and get them ready for, for what to expect. So if you work hard enough, then if you take it serious, like how, you know, your big brother told you to take it serious, 
and you'll find yourself having a couple of these. So you know what these are right here? No. So these are, so these are my platinum plaques, right? This one's a gold one, right? For one of my albums, right? And then this one is my platinum one right here. So this was over wow. a million copies, right? So when you sell over a million copies of your album or like a record, you get a platinum plaque like this. And this is what every artist works hard for. They work hard for this right here. All right? And guess what? What? You're going to have one one day. It's going to say Max Sauce, platinum. And you're going to hang it up right in your room, wherever you want to hang it up at. So when all your friends come over, you can be, you can flex on them like, y'all ain't got one of these. Y'all ain't got one of these. I'm platinum. I'm, not, I'm about to be nine years old and I'm already platinum. So that's a big flex. So I keep that on my wall, right? So when I wake up and I walk around my house every day, I look at all of the hard work, the long nights in the studio, all the times I didn't feel like recording, all the times I didn't feel like writing. I just wanted to stay in the house and watch TV all day and just be a big kid. But like I said, if you put the hard work into it, you'll have more than me one day. You'll have a whole wall full of them. How'd that sound? <laughs> good. That sound good? All right, you got some questions for me? Um, One question. Let's okay, see. you got one question. All right, let's make it happen. Come on. How did you do it? <laughs> You were so young. Like, that was inspiring. Like, I was doing a photo shoot, mm -hmm. and like, things aren't open. You know how COVID is shutting everything down? Right. I worked so hard to where I'm in the house with a green screen, doing photo shoots, working hard to get all my work done. It's like nothing will stop me. But one question I have for you is, how did you make it at such a young age? And... Uh, you never stopped. That's a, you know what? That was probably one of the best questions anybody has ever asked me. Um, and I'm going to tell you the answer and I'm going to give you the game too. So number one, I love what I do, right? So if you love what you do, you'll never stop doing it. So that was number one. Number two, um, like I said, you have your dad, which you have my mom. So I was protected. So even though I was young in a big in a big man's business, my mom always kept me sheltered and it was always teaching me right from wrong. So I knew what to stay away from. And I wanted a long career. I didn't want just a short career. I wanted a long career. So in order for me to do that, I have to be smart, right? I know that mm -hmm. people are watching me, they're looking up to me, and it's a responsibility, right? So for me, it's just a passion. No different than you. You have a passion for music. I have a passion for music and I have a passion for entertainment. And at the end of the day, when you love something so much, you won't do anything to jeopardize it. And then mm -hmm. plus, remember I told you I have a nine-year-old daughter. I have a mm -hmm. son. So for me, they keep me motivated too. It's like I can't stop because my kids look up to me. I have other people around the world that look up to me. And I have mm -hmm. a responsibility at the end of the day. So I understand that. And by understanding that, you know, it, it enables me to keep going no matter what. And we all know we got haters, right? We just brush okay. the haters off, right? The haters yeah. going to be there. But the haters motivate you to go even harder because you want to prove them wrong, right? And that's always been my thing is to always prove my haters and my doubters wrong mm -hmm. and know right from wrong and love what I do. And that's it. You have a goal. Your goal is you want one of those plaques on your wall, right? Mm -hmm. So you ain't going to do, you, you're not going to let nothing stop you from getting that plaque on your wall. Nothing. Not a bad comment. Uh, if you put out a song and it doesn't do as good as your other songs, don't worry about it. Keep going. Keep fighting because you never know. And you're so young. You know, you have so much life to live. You have so much music to make. Your voice is going to change. Uh, your, your, your mind is going to get stronger. You're going to get smarter. And that's when you're really going to become the best version of you. So from me to you, all I want you to do is be the best Max Sauce you can possibly be each and every day. You can promise me that? Mm-hmm. Deal? Yep. That's a deal. Promise? Yep. All right. I believe you. All right. And also, I want to just say salute to your dad, too, because, you know, I'm a girl dad as well. And I know your dad is a girl dad as well. So... I salute your father just for putting in the time with you, um, you know, just getting you closer to your dreams 
And that's what a parent is supposed to do, you know? And, and I can tell that he loves you and he wants the best for you. I want the best for you. So I want you to, when you get off of this live with me, <clears throat> I want you to go to work. Just go to work on them. You know what I'm saying? Get on your green screen, do your thing. And I, and look, we all appreciate your hustle. You a little hustler. You ain't let to stop you. That's what you told me, right? <laughs> Kobe wasn't stopping you, huh? Mm. Yep. Yeah, we're going we gonna to work inside the house. We're going to get this work. We're going to get to that bag. Say that. What, what, what we going to get to? That bag. Man, by any means necessary. You understand? That's what we're going to do. So, Max Sauce, we have so much love for you. And anytime you need your big bro, DM me. That's all you got to do is DM me. You need some advice. You need anything. You just DM me. And you know what I want to do for you? I want to do something special for you before before I get off, because I have to talk to some more people, right? But I wanted to make sure I talk to you first, because we were supposed to have been talk. So that's why your live is longer than everybody else's live. I'm sorry, but we rocking right now. I want to do something special for you. So, not this video, but whenever you decide to shoot your next video, mm -hmm. I'm going to send my video guy down there to shoot your next video, and I'm going to pay for it. Oh, okay. That's love. That sound yeah. good? Yeah, How that sound? Yeah. Good. Okay, so after you shoot this video, I'm going to fly my director down to you. And all you got to do is just show up. I'm going to already have it laid out for you. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to fly him to you, put him in a hotel. Y'all going to knock the video out. Done deal. All right? Mm -hmm. and that's, from, that's from your big bro. I got you. And just tell dad to DM me. Um... So I can get all you guys' information, and when it's time, when you when you got the next song ready to go and you're ready to shoot it, just have Dad just DM me, and we're gonna go from there. And I'm gonna send my man Otto to you, and Otto does all my videos. All right. I got a surprise for you before you we a, go. You got you got a surprise for me. Yep. Okay. Play me a beat real quick, Daddy. You about oh snap! Hey yo, Mel, she about to freestyle. You about to rap? <laughs> I got a hook and Oh, she about to freestyle. You about to freestyle. <laughs> Yep. You about to rap? I was watching another one. Okay. We hooking the Bluetooth up now. Okay, no, no doubt, no doubt. We gonna make look. You, 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 baby girl. So you know, we are gonna make the other, the other guys, the, them the grown guys. We are gonna make them wait a little bit for they live. Okay. Let me hear you bust something before I, I, I continue on with, with this live. So let me go ahead and hear what you got. All right, we playing the beat. You have to play. The beat. Uh oh. Hey, Pimp, man, she might need one of them. Oh, you know what's crazy, Max? My producer's in here watching you right now. Mm. Okay. I'm going to throw you a beat or two. Oh, you ready? Yeah. You remember this beat? Oh, on my beat? You, about, let me, you yeah. better go hard, girl. You better go hard. Come on. It's my time, so I multiplied and doubled my bag. Yep. We not in the same division. I'm ahead of my class. Tell I'm me. subtracting every issue in the way of my task. So mad problems out of all this, what I know I'm going to have. If you Ooh. ain't smart, you couldn't go to my school. You see the bit? That's a whole lot of drip like I was thrown in the pool. Ooh. Raise your hand, you want to talk to the teacher. I'm in line as the leader. Story time ain't look at me as the reader. Mama asked me what I'm focused on. So I taught her Chuck E. Cheese. Then with games that I'm spending on my token. Cause yeah. she love the way I make grades Report card coming eight days They don't break it, let us, I get straight A's Big shout out to my brother We like feeling limb Really rug rap, I can't lie, I love rap Ask me how I do it, how I do it Cause I'm awesome, I'm the flower in the ground That was not into it, but you call me soft I just full of flavor yeah. Major what I saw me cause I do it major Come on! I didn't make my mark, I don't need a braces Give me a beat, I'm right on it like a piece of paper cake And I'ma need a baker Oh, 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 you lit it. Oh, you lit it so fire. So that was fire, Max Sauce. And I have another surprise for you. That was fire. Oh, it ain't fresh as you. Oh, they not fresh as you eat. <laughs> no. That was fire. Thank you. No emoji. Look, they got the emoji flames. Look, I got the real flame. You done, you done tore up the lava. Who going to compete with that, man? Oh, my God. I had so much fun with you. I know. I know these other people mad at me because I'm late. But listen, <laughs> Max Sauce, I had a lot of fun with you. It was a pleasure talking to you. And Big Bro Bow, that's my word, all right? After you do this video, whenever you ready, you say uh, no. And I'm going to send it. 
I don't see any show and tell. That's a good one that everyone's liking when I perform. Mm -hmm. And then, um, before I go, it w I would really appreciate if you would play some of my music for your daughter. I bet she would love it. What? And of course I would. It's your pet EP. And then my teacher's pet EP. Okay. And also, me and your daughter are going to be the same age because I have an upcoming birthday this month on the 25th. You about to be nine. Well, guess what? Happy birthday to you, Max Sauce. And enjoy it. I hope you get everything you want for your birthday. Just Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Just put me a piece of cake to the side. <laughs> piece of cake to the, with, with Just a little bit of icing. I don't like a lot of icing. I'm more of the cake guy. So just <laughs> put a, just, you know, scrape a little bit of icing off and put it to the side for your boy. You can do that for me? Yes. All right. Look, it was a, I have fun with you, Max Sauce. So I'm going to be checking for your stuff, okay? Okay. Look at you have a thousand over a thousand people in. You popping. <laughs> I know when I when I need to go on live, I need to call Max Sauce. My live don't be <laughs> jumping like that. It, you got it popping. You got your whole city in here. So before I'll we get be off, yeah, shout out Kansas City in this thing one time, man. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah, so for me to you and, and Pops, hey man, much respect, much love to you both. Uh you know where to find me. And uh Max Sauce has been a pleasure, baby girl. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, do your thing now. I'm gonna be checking on you now. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye. Bye bye. Thanks for tuning in to Newborn Arrival.